Hi all, a lot many of you have been having questions relating how you can make use of Llama 2 models using Hugging Face API or download Llama models locally. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the topic as to how you can use Llama 2 models using the Hugging Face API. Before we talk into the details of it and go for the implementation, let me brief you about Llama 2 models. So Llama 2 models are developed by Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. We all know that. Now, Llama 2 models are, the, are released under open source license, which means they are freely available for research as well as commercial use cases. Anyone can get a license agreement from Meta and make use of Llama 2 models without any cost. And to top it, Llama 2 models have incredible capabilities in terms of understanding the natural language human text. Now, there are two primary types of Llama 2 models, which are the open foundation models and the fine-tuned chat models. I'll head over to our collab environment and talk more about it. Now, so if, if you look at it, look at this image here. So the first foundational model or open foundational model come under the three variants, 7 billion parameter model, 13 billion parameter model, and 70 billion parameter model. Now, this open foundational model is a text completion model, which means if you ask the model the question such as, what is the capital of France? It might you return you with further questions such as, what is the capital of India? What is the capital of Germany? What is the capital of Switzerland? And so on. It is a text completion model. The other type of model, which is the fine-tuned version, comes under two primary categories. One is the more recent one, which is the code completion and code generation, the code llama. We are not going to go into the details of code llama in this particular video. I'll share some references in the description below. Check them out and let me know if you want me to cover code llama separately. Now, the other type of fine-tuned models we are going to talk about today are the Llama chat models. So Llama chat models have been specifically fine-tuned for dialogue applications, for building chatbots, for understanding natural language instructions. They have been instruction-tuned to understand human languages, the natural conversations that we have as in this particular video, and get responses accordingly. So for the question, what is the capital of France? It will very well return the capital of France is Paris. Right. So now, before moving any further, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because here we talk about generative AI and AI in general to help you succeed in your career. Okay. An additional point, Llama 2 models have a context length of 4K, which is nearly 4096 tokens. So combining the input and the output response that you're generating, you can very well pass enormous prompt, enormous words in a prompt in order to make the model understand and you'll get the responses in much more detail. Okay, let me connect to the GPU. We are using a Google Collab environment in the free tier version so that all our viewers can make good use of this particular lesson and can directly use the Llama models on their own systems as well. Okay, so now we have loaded our runtime. We have to install certain libraries such as the transformers and accelerate library. I'm going to quickly install these libraries. Once these libraries are installed, we need to import transformers, the transformers pipeline, torch and accelerate. Once after installation and importing the libraries, the next thing we are going to do, we have to log in into the Hugging Face account. Okay, so uh, let me clear this thing to you, right? Getting access to the license by Meta takes a couple of hours, right? You might It might take one or two hours once you sign up for the license. It's absolutely free. I'll show you how you can sign up for the license. Okay, while well, this is being loaded, let me take you to the other section. So if you open this Hugging Face page, or even if you open the home page of Meta Lava Models, if, if you do not already have a license agreement, you will get an information such as this. You need to share contact information with Meta to access this model, right? This is through the Hugging Face API. And if you scroll below, 
it will ask you to log in right log in or sign up into your hugging face account the account that you are going to use the email account that you are going to use in order to sign into the hugging face account should be the same that you provide to your llama model agreement the reason being it will connect using the email id and provide you access so once you click on login or sign up according to the account that you have if you already have a pre-existing account then click on sign up and then you will be asked to fill in some specific details such as your name your email address which will be the same address as you provide in your hugging face account your affiliation or the name of the organization that's that's it right and along with your date of birth then you click on uh, accept all the agreements terms and conditions you 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 will then receive an email from meta in a couple of hours saying that your access has been granted so you will be able to use the llama models llama chat models as well as code llama okay so once you have access you will see some things like this let me show you So because I already signed in and got the access from the meta for using Llama 2 models, see the my model card shows say something like this gated model. You have been granted access to the model. I'm already signed into my account. I can show you that that I am already signed into my account. You see my username is displayed here, which means I'm signed in into my hugging face account. This is my username. Now let's go back to our collab notebook. So it takes a little while to install these packages and depending on your internet bandwidth, depending on your internet speed, it might take a little longer. So once we have installed these libraries, we need to import transformers, the pipeline, torch and accelerate. Now we have already got the license from Meta. We need to log in into the Hugging Face CLI. Right? This Hugging Face CLI login is necessary to ensure that you have the right credentials, that you have the right access. Okay, so we are going to call Hugging Face CLI login and herein we are going to specify our access token. So this access token will be found here in your Hugging Face page. When you log in, go to the settings section and just as we used in our earlier videos when we talked about LAN chain. So here you'll find it. Okay, just give me a second. So here in under the settings page, you will find access tokens. Click on this access tokens. And I already have a access token that I created during my LangChain videos. I'm going to use the same token. Just copy this access token. And herein, when you run this CLI, there, it, there they'll ask you to paste this, right? Just paste your access token here. And in the next step, click N. And your login is successful. So we have successful login into Hugging Face, log, hugging face portal, okay? You can check this by calling Hugging Face CLI Who Am I? This will return the username that you have created within your Hugging Face account. Okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to load this tokenizer and we are going to specify use auth token as true. This will ensure that our authentication is successful and we are able to use the Llama models successfully using Hugging Face API. So you see, we are able to load the tokenizer successfully, which means that our access is granted successfully. The next thing, we are going to create a Llama pipeline using the Meta Llama Llama 7 billion parameter chat model. We are going to specify the torch D type as float 16. And additionally, we are specifying device map as auto. Now, when we are using device map, it is important to import the accelerate library and thereby we already installed and imported accelerate. Okay, let us run this in order to load the Llama pipeline. So it will download the model weights. It will take certain time in order to download the model weights. And once these model weights are downloaded, we'll get back again. So we have successfully loaded our Llama pipeline. We have downloaded the model checkpoint weights and it is successful, right? We are going to create a dummy function. This function is going to do nothing but call the Llama pipeline 
and we have specified certain parameters such as do sample as true, top k as 10, num return sequences as 1 and max length as 512. You can modify the max length because the maximum allowable context length for LAMA2 models are 4096. This comprise of input prompt that you are specifying along with the output response. So you can balance it out appropriately depending on your requirements. We are keeping it at 512 just to speed things up. Okay. And then it will return basically print the output being generated. I'm going to call this function and I have taken a prompt here. The prompt says write a formal letter of rejecting a candidate after multiple rounds of interview. The candidate was hardworking and diligent yet could not qualify. Okay, this is our prompt. We are going to get the response. I'll show you how efficient LAMA models are even with just 7 billion parameters. Okay, just, just watch how efficient the results are going to be. So let's look at the result. The result says that it first returns us the, the information that we provided, which is write a formal letter of rejecting a candidate after multiple rounds of interview. The candidate was hardworking and diligent yet could not qualify. The letter should be professional and empathetic. It is something that it has added on its own. Dear candidate, I hope this letter finds, this is basically the system message, right? The system message that it is trying to add here. Dear candidate, I hope this letter finds you in good health and spirits. I'm writing to inform you that after careful consideration and multiple rounds of interview, we have decided not to move forward with your application for the position of such and such. So it is creating a beautiful email based on the information that we provided. I want all of you to go ahead, experiment with different prompts, share your results, share the interesting things that you are going to try out with this Lama 2 model. And additionally, there is a small tweak using which we can just enhance the performance multi-bold, which is the prompt engineering aspect of LAMA2. Let me know in the comments if you're really interested in prompt engineering using open source models such as LAMA2. I'm definitely going to bring something on that as well. But just giving you a heads up, think about some of the keywords or the identifiers such as INST, SYS, BOS. These are some of the tags that are used explicitly for prompt engineering LAMA2 chat models. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you